What is paprika? It's that red spice in our spice cabinet or spice drawer that we know goes in several of our recipes and does something. Unlike garlic powder, which we know is made from garlic, or onion powder, which we know is made from onions, is there something called a paprika? I did some research, so you don't have to. Hey there, welcome to the Recipes with Ray podcast. Today we're talking about paprika, but first things first, I want to shout out to one of my lovely listeners who left me a review and they gave me some kind criticism that sometimes I'm a little too laid back and (laughs) I think what was meant by that is that sometimes maybe I'm a little too monotone, I'm not very excited about what I'm talking about, so... I acknowledge that that is true. Yes, I'm not going to not deny that. It's just me and my microphone, and sometimes I don't get as excited because there's no one here for me to talk to facing me that I can be excited with. So thank you so much for your kind review. And for anyone else, if you would love to leave me a review, whether it be good or bad, I would be grateful for that. And If it's bad or if it's good and you would like to give me some kind, constructive criticism, that would be greatly appreciated. But let's get into paprika. So paprika. There are, in general, three types of paprika. There's regular, also known as plain. There's Spanish. And there's Hungarian paprika, of which there are different varieties. You'll often see regular paprika used in a creamy potato salad or garnishing deviled eggs or hummus. Regular paprika, also known as sweet paprika, has a mild flavor with a subtle sweetness and brings a vivid red color to the dish you add it to. All paprikas have a red hue to them. So where does that color come from? The answer is peppers. Red peppers. Red peppers including hot chili peppers, cayenne peppers, poblano peppers, sweet peppers, and others. All coming from the capsicum annuum family. So paprika is not just dried and ground up red bell peppers as I've recently heard that paprika is made from. Perhaps you've heard that as well. Peppers used to make paprika are often ones that have a thinner flesh. Peppers used to make paprika are said to have originated in central Mexico. From there, they were taken to Spain. So Spanish paprika is made from peppers known as pimenton, P-I-M-E-N-T-O-N. The peppers are typically smoke dried and they're sold in several varieties. The paprika can be sweet slash mild, bittersweet slash mild spicy, or hot. What differentiates the varieties is what peppers are used and how they are processed. A lot of a pepper's spice comes from their seeds and the white ribs that you see on the inside of a pepper. For a spicier paprika, the seeds and those ribs are ground up with the dried pepper. Peppers for paprika are now grown in several other locations around the world, including South America, California, India, the Mediterranean, and Hungary. This brings us to Hungarian paprika. And fun fact, paprika is the national spice of Hungary. There are eight Hungarian paprikas. So let's go through them. There's noble sweet, This is the most common, it has a bright red color, and it's slightly pungent, meaning there's a slight heat to it. There's special quality paprika. This is the mildest. It has a very bright red color, and it's sweet, not spicy. There's delicate paprika. It is mild, mild in heat, but has a rich flavor and is light to dark red. There's exquisite delicate. 
which is similar to delicate but more pungent, so more spicy. Then there's pungent, exquisite, delicate, which I feel like this is getting a little ridiculous. Delicate, exquisite, delicate, pungent, exquisite, delicate. But pungent, exquisite, delicate Hungarian paprika is delicate, but even more pungent, so even spicier than exquisite delicate. Then there's rose paprika. It is mild, but has a strong aroma, and it has a pale red color. There's semi-sweet paprika, which is a blend of half sweet, half spicy, giving it a medium heat. And lastly, of the Hungarian paprikas, there is strong, which is the spiciest, and it has a brownish color. To make Hungarian paprika, the peppers are sun-dried. Now, at my store, I'm pretty used to seeing two paprikas, either regular or smoked. By the process, I'm assuming that my smoked paprika is Spanish, unless the company selling it is adding some type of liquid smoke to my plain paprika, which I hope is not the case. But I know I prefer to use smoked paprikas in place of regular paprika, In the recipes that I make that call for paprika, I'll put it in and on top of my hummus, I'll use it as a spice on my roasted potatoes, or I'll put it into my homemade fajita seasoning spice mix. I read on McCormick's website, the spice company, that when cooking with paprika, for best results, to add the paprika towards the end of the cooking process Because heat, whether it be from your oven, your stove, your grill, diminishes the color, but also the flavor of the spice. Now, unless you're using paprika as a garnish, I'm not sure how practical that tip is. But either way, what are some of your favorite dishes that call for paprika? And which paprikas, plain, Spanish, Hungarian, Which type of Spanish, which type of Hungarian do you like to use? All of the sources that I use to put together my What is Paprika episode today, I will leave those down below in the show notes. Some of those sources have some recipes for using paprika, using the different paprikas. Thank you all for listening today. I want to remind you that Jesus loves you and he wants a relationship with you. And if you're interested, I will leave another Recipes with Ray podcast episode down below in the show notes or right here on screen for those of you listening on YouTube. And I will see you all there.